let's just take a field that wasn't planted, but it had some weed control issues out there. What, what is something that you as a producer, or if you're talking with a neighbor, what's, what's something you would look at doing? Any thoughts? I, I definitely going to use a, probably a full rate of pre-emerge herbicide and maybe think about splitting it and using multiple modes of action to try because they're, you know, even if you got the field sprayed, there's so many wet areas that you miss some areas and then whole fields that, you know, it, certain species were hard to kill because they got too big, so. It's going to just take time, you know, take, it'll just take two, three years. You just try to keep, you know, like I, Charlie said, that you're not incorporating the weeds, and so that, that'll help. Hopefully you don't have as big a problem. But the small seeded broadleaves, they'll still be an issue because they can grow right on the top. So just a combination of residual herbicides, hopefully we can keep it under control till we get it, you know, over time, you'll get it cleaned back up with rotation. And but then you still got to be careful that use residuals to keep the weeds down, but if you don't get anything planted, then you gotta worry about the cover crops you intend to plant. The one thing we do find though under no-till is a lot of times, even when we have weed escapes, we're not incorporating the weed seed into the soil. So generally we'll get that flush of weeds of ones that'll germinate shallow, but we don't have, we haven't had near the issue with more the velvet leaf, the cockerbur sunflower. So even though I know we're gonna have issues, I think it's gonna be more the early season, like you say, we, the burn down, the pre-emergence is gonna be the, the big, big thing. So it might be so, easier to get ahead of the issue. Yeah. That's kind of so saying. if you wanna use a coulter cart to get in there and dry things out, you're just gonna be planting a lot more. Yep. You mentioned with rotations can help reduce weeds. Is that, have you noticed that when you include what well, the your... small grain definitely, because it just, you know, you can get like, you know, the water hemp is not an issue in small grain because it comes on late and just, you know, shades it out or you can spray it easy. It's, you know, so it helps with some of those weeds that you have to normally battle in the row crops. It, you see that just, weed control carry into the row crops just from having right. that small grain in there, yeah. We got to be a little cautious on what chemistry you use on the wheat to allow our cover crops, but yeah. Uh, 